Hello, my name is Jack and welcome back to my new video. Today I'm gonna teach you all about a rolling bed, a roller bed inside a truck trailer. So basically, we're just gonna get out of the car for right now because I want to show you guys what it's all about. So, am I new for you? Have you ever seen me? Hey, my name is Jack. I make truckers videos and as you can see at Schiphol Amsterdam. So, okay, I'm first gonna turn off my own car. Look at all the lightings, it's so cozy in here. But anyways, we're going to the truck. Okay, so here it is, this is the truck. And basically, all you need to know is like, I will show you first how it looks like. Uh, can I just easy? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so this is the roller bed. It's basically a whole floor of, yeah, you guessed it, rollers. And they are down right now, but you can put them up. Uh, so now you can just like move special cargo. But I can show you, if we're gonna raise it up, I would just put you guys over here. And now you can see they are up. And now they can just like spin. Um, so basically there's four parts because you can like move four um, yeah, plates I would call them. So this is part number four and then it goes three, two and then the top is number one. And I can show you guys like over here you have the, op the options. So basically when they are upside they don't do anything they are lowered and they don't do anything so if i will put this back there they go it could take some time but yeah there they go they will disappear without even noticing so yeah what i also want to see uh, show you is that i'm gonna close the door for this because it doesn't even really matter that much I've showed you the roller bed, so you have a basic understanding on how that works. I have to even have to talk louder because of all the planes over here. Okay, so you know how it works now. So basically, he is still cooling down, but if they are up like straight, you can even see it here. Closed is up and sideways is open. So, okay. You put them all up, up and then yeah, like nothing is gonna happen, I can tell you that. Because the truck is straight, you know, so it won't move that much. So if you are loading, you need to do two things. You lower the truck down and the back side you put up. So it will lift more like this. So when a plate rolls in, it will just like go to the end. But yeah. Jack, <laughs> okay, okay, I understand you, but yeah, you need to understand more. Oh, the wind is picking up. You need to understand more, and a plane is going over. <laughs> because I will just clo get close to the microphone. Hi, Schiphol plane. So, what you need to know is when you're going to roll it in, it has no brakes. So, to make sure that it's not gonna crash in, like, it's gonna hit the wall at the end. What you really would want to do is like four, three and two, you wanna put them up, but number one, you want to keep down. So it go this is four, so it goes really fast to number one, but number one is down, so it will slow the plate down. Once it's finally like stopped the plate, you can put it up. And number two will hit number one and it will push it more forward or it will just roll automatically. And from that point on, then plate number one and two are inside. And yeah, basically you can just, don't have to do anything after that. Number three will go in, it's not that fast. Number four, four will roll in and you're done. Don't forget to put everything down, put all the wheels down because you don't want it to move around when you're driving. So you have to put it down. And when unloading, so we're gonna like start over with unloading. With unloading, you want the cargo to go out. So then you would 
put the trailer on the back side down and you will put the truck up and uh, yeah what you're really gonna do is like maybe if you have one pallet you can like do the same with this one keeping low but nah not not even close just put everything up when you have one pallet is your car full with four pallets then it's a different story then you will just go like okay four and it will roll out and he will like lift it up and pick it away and then okay three and then one comes he picks it away two he comes pick it away and then the last one one he comes and pick it away and then after that of course don't forget to put them down again don't forget to put your trailer in uh, the normal stand because if this is like waist up yeah you you could hit a like a, a bridge or something you know same goes around for the truck so yeah that's basically what you need to know like maybe i have to explain something as well about this because maybe i don't know who but maybe someone hasn't learned it so basically what this does if you put this down then this will go to this the trailer will go down if you put this up yeah i can do that you see now it goes up you see the whole trailer is moving up you can put it down or what i've just found out about this trailer i don't know if it's really that but you can like press it one time and then it will like stabilize i'm not sure about that i have never had something like this the other one i had you pulled on it but that's not working on this one so yeah basically um yeah your car will detect when it's driving so most of the times it will neutralize by itself but don't count on it so okay guys i've teach you a lot i've teach you this those two buttons you will learn it when you get your truck driving and stuff it's not that important for this part about the roller bed so yeah basically that's everything what i wanted to show you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this i can i can show you one more thing actually um and that's the last thing i'm gonna show before i'm gonna end it and that is over here and that is with the ignition on which i don't have right now you can just you have this like control stuff and you can press on the truck over here and you can put it up or down and this button over here is stabilize it so when it's like shifted now i just want to show you guys <laughs> i want to show you so you know how it looks like okay so basically you can now Put this that's probably the air warning yeah okay or something close if you put this one like so you can now raise it as you can see yeah or you can lower it so if the tire is gonna hit this then you know this is for loading okay come on it's uh, you you can do it and over here we have the stabilizer if i press this one time it will just go up and now it's stabilized even though sometimes you're trying to, you i don't know you had it standing like this you know let's say eh, I, I don't know why you will do this but let's say it's mostly when you have it down but just for the example wise if you have it like this and i will go to my kingpin on the other side i can't pull it because there's too much tension on there okay and that's yeah, annoying because you have to lower it or stabilize it but you have this handle everybody is well familiar with it but you can also like push it in and pull it downwards like this um i actually want to record the back i will i will do it after that And now the tension is fully off the kingpin of anything or on the brakes everything is off so the the, the tension so you what happens is you release the brakes of the trailer everything can like move and stabilize and you release it because it's not a hold in you see you do this and you release it 
and then the brakes will grab on but everything is like really softened out and that kind of stuff it also happens like if i will do like put it now in the old position like the stabilizing position okay yeah so now it is still in the like the brakes anything has tension right now and if i would just do this again and now is everything without tension and in my opinion that's how you want it you don't want overnight to have everything under extreme strength stuff will like uh, the durability will go down that kind of stuff so yeah short video i'm gonna end it i hope you had it was inform 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 informative i don't know i hope you learned something from it and yeah basically thanks for watching if you enjoyed and did uh, did you learn something new like the video hey have you heard it we have a discord server you're still not in it my god come on get over there what are you waiting for i want to see your truck i want to see your car you can show both we have special servers just post your car and let me see that shit i want to know what you're driving <laughs> okay anyways thanks for watching i hope you liked the video if you're not subscribed yet you should if you found this really informative then you can learn way more like i have shown way more and we're actually making way more as well right now so just do it it's free easy as that i will take anything that's free so let's go i'm gonna end the video thanks for watching my name was jack and i hope to see you in the next video so goodbye have a nice day and i'll see you in the next one Woo!